Welcome inside the film room. I'm Dustin Fox alongside legendary Browns quarterback Bernie Kosar. All right, buckle up this week, Bernie, because this is a high-powered offense with Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs coming to First Energy. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun this <laughs> week in my film study from a, as an old offensive guy to be able to look at the type of X's and O's that Andy Reid puts up mm -hmm. here and Patrick Mahomes and this Kansas City offense. Some of the stuff that you see from Kansas City, like even this play right here, Bernie, this is video game type stuff. Like This is not real life, but somehow the Kansas City Chiefs are finding this, ways this to do this really, stuff. This, that's really a great analogy. You know, you have, it's, it's a fourth and one call. It's early in the game, and this is part of the reason why Kansas City is so tough to handle. You've been hearing all year, uh, last couple years, about the RPO, run, run pass option. There are so many run pass options for the Kansas City offense and Patrick Mahomes here. Again, fourth and one. Denver Broncos, mm -hmm. excellent defense. They have a crack sweep possibility to the top of your screen, which is the run option off of it. Patrick Mahomes has a run option off of this. Mm -hmm. And then even though it's a glorified running play, technically the shovel pass here to Cleveland's product, will be South product, uh, Kareem Hunt, <laughs> cutting across here. This is so tough to handle right. from a defensive perspective. This guy right here, he's screwed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, literally, he's got one, two, three options to worry about. And you're playing right off of that young man yeah. there. That's really put in a duressful situation. And then if you watch how he finishes this run, this is just, this is just embarrassing. To be able to jump, jump over <laughs> the weak safety, and then, and then get your base, oh. and still have your hips and legs underneath you to drag a defender into the end zone like that, that's just awesome football. Just look at the weapons that they have. I mean, <laughs> Kelsey, Watkins, Tyreek Hill, the fastest guy in football. This is one of the best running backs in football. This is a guy who has the strongest arm in football. Like, how do you stop it? Right. And you add those perfect weapons like that, with that athleticism, that strength, that speed, with this sophisticated, oh. top-tier, master's program offense, this is really A-plus stuff right here. All right, so we mentioned the last play, Bernie. Tyree Kill was one of the options there in that sort of shovel pass option. How do we contain him? I mean, you're going to see right here the speed. Here's another option of the RPO run pass options that you see. Um, again, Andy Reid, a subtle thing, but as we talk about, like to talk about, just the pre snap motion. This is a subtle motion by Tyree Kill. But with the way the defensive back, the corner, is running out with him, you could see that it's man coverage. When you have these RPOs like this, it could be a running play to Kareem Hunt to the right here. And Patrick Mahomes is just reading the defensive back linebacker number 47 here. He presses the line of scrimmage. He knows Tyree Hill's coming right behind mm. him in that void. Tyree Hill's speed turns us into a real big play. This is the stuff that Greg Williams and the Browns defense this week must make the tackle post, post catch. Don't let them get the rack, run after the catch. Secure tackling. That's what the Browns sort of lacked, I, I thought, in that Pittsburgh game. Let's see if they can bounce back this week. It's going to be a fun one at First Energy Stadium. Absolutely. He's Bernie Kosar. I'm Dustin Fox. We'll see you next time.